Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Week six, the Florida Classic, the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, Green Clove, Green Cove Springs in Florida. Ah, oh, we got to do better today. We're starting off with the Cameron Champ. It doesn't seem to matter who we play with, whoever we play with. Uh, they always seem to do incredibly well. There's a golf buggy in the water there. Can you see that? And some crocodiles, by the looks of things. Damn, Florida is a scary place. And I bet you the Wetlands Golf and Country Club is a scary golf club. Diff difficult course with lots of water barriers. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the wetlands, it's live opening round coverage of the Florida Classic. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. Your leader is the former Cal Bear, James Hahn. He's at 200 par here to start the tournament. Strong opening hole here at the wetlands, 660 yards, par five. And if you get going the wrong way, you might have some alligators nipping at your heels. Just crazy, isn't it? Just crazy. So everything is heading in that direction as well, which is a little scary. I forgot to look and see what the wind conditions are. And it does frustrate me that you can't check them after you started the round. I'd say they're okay, pretty windy. That's a good one to start safely in the fairway to get the tournament underway. That's going to be up the left hand side. And that's going to be just fine. Left side of the fairway to start his round. I think I got the slightly better lie here. Yeah. Still well over 300 yards to the flag. So getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Right, let's try and make sure we get it straight shot. That looks pretty good to me. Roll on, baby, roll on. That was a good try. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. Third shot, looking for a good one. Look at that wind. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just, oh, that's very poor from that range. Right, I'm going to try and pitch this. I'm going to hit it low. It's a shot I've never played before, but I want it to run on. Put it back really far, don't you? Looks all right. Could have been better, but it looks okay. A birdie putt at one. We check in with Nota Begay. And an ideal look here, just moving slightly to the left. Oh, he's yes. up and running. That's the way to start the day. It is a birdie here at the opening hole. And he will very quickly move to one under par. Yeah, that's nice. a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And he's very quickly to one under par. I really strong want to start to strong start, today. Followed by a good par three. The second hole is 225 yards. Two bunkers, Rich, when you look at this par three. In between is a nice corridor. And that's really the line that you want to be looking at going at this par three. Just thread the gap. 
And you should safely find the green. I'm going to say six iron. I'm going to try and put it on the right hand side of the green and the wind. Hopefully, we'll take it. It looks like it has, but I don't think we have the distance because I under hit. That's a shame. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. That was a Sitting shame. Up in the short grass. Could have done better with that. Wow. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Straightforward pitch shot here, 35 yards. The greens are supposed to be quite slow, so I'm going to give it five yards to run. Just make sure we hit this good and clean. All right, that's a chance. That's a chance. A lot of movement on this putt left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three foot circle. That's all he wanted to do there. Yeah, that's touch. I mean, when you think from that distance, chances of making are, uh, are almost none. So to guarantee a two putt, well done. 0 0.9 below. It's a little bit breaking left to right. I think maybe just outside the hole. Oh! A little firm trying to take some of the break out. And that's the result. Ah. That finished off for par here at the second. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. All right. Oh, I have to put this in, do I? Okay, it's a bogey here at the second. And he's going to fall out of red figures back down to even par. That's disappointing, but not the end of the world. Fairly straightforward par four now. The third at the wetlands is 460 yards straight away. Oh, it's too it much is 460 room yards. For error. Uh, it can be chopped down a lot of different ways. 300 yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're a mere mortal, 280, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, that much harder. It's a tricky looking hole, that, I gotta say. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. He struggled with his shot there a bit, didn't he? Oh, I like that tee shot. One extra bounce. That's what kicked it into the first cut. All right, so we're definitely going to go low. We're going to go short. We're going to go down the right-hand side. Oh, no. Well, that is right, and that could be trouble. Disappointing. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Working from the rough, here's his second at three. my my clean shot position the wind took it but that should be okay hmm needed it a bit closer on the green but still a tough putt coming up well just off the fairway here's Noda Left himself with 149 
Looking to make up for that drop shot with a birdie here. He's got a sandwich in his hand, and it's not going to be enough. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? Drop shot. He had a drop shot. Maybe. It's a little bit of yeah. a head scratcher. Wasn't that hard a shot. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Right. That looks like it's breaking left to right to me. I can't wait until they give us this flipping camera they promised. It says four above, which means it's breaking to the left, but it looks like the closer I get to the hole, it starts breaking to the right again. So I think I'm just going to stick with that. 55 feet. Oh, I under hit it a bit anyway. It was online. It really was. That's disappointing. If I hadn't have under hit that, we may have got a birdie there. Mm, that slides by to the right. Oh, he's having he a difficult day. Oh, bless him. And this will be a five foot putt here. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. And he'll stay at level par. Oh, my word. I wonder what he was saying there. Okay, a disappointing six here at par four. And that's going to move him back down to even par. Another par three here at the fourth, 225 yards, a swamp directly in front of the tee and a bunker protecting the front of the green. Aim for the heart. Solid tee shot will get you home. Wow. So this is uphill. Oh, my God. This is a very tricky looking shot. I am not in the least bit convinced that I can even reach this. Wow. Never seen a four iron sit like okay, that before. Just left of the hole, and now a putt for Birdie coming up. There's a lot of wind out here. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. But Set down straight. Really quick as well. Good shot. Dead straight. Just make sure it reaches. Oh. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty good putt. Just a little bit off the mark. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. And he'll stay at even par. Oh, he is struggling with the slow greens. I like the slow greens. It gives me a bit more control. But he's not enjoying it. He's probably used to the super slick, super fast, high level greens. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And that won't help the cause one bit. Down to the fifth hole here at the wetlands. Par five, 635 oh. yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The mm. shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough 
to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway. Right, we'll hit it low and just a smidge to the right. God, look how much I pulled that. This one turning left a bit off the tee. That's really bad. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Bum just lets me down at the worst moments. And that will do just fine. I guess you could say slow and steady is going to win this race, or so he hopes. Long ways to go. I'd also add the word short, uh, Rich. Slow, steady, and short. This is a long par five now. <laughs> wow, wild off the tee. Second shot sort of clanged through the trees, but it ends up in the fairway. Still, though, long ways coming up for this third shot. All right, here we go. Dead straight, wind never touched it. Oh, it did a little bit, thank goodness. Could have been closer, the length was perfect. Oh, that's a posh shot and a good one at that. Got to be happy. Now this, the birdie. And all things considered, he's in a pretty good spot. He might move gently to his right as it works back up the slope. Yes! Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. It's one of those moments Man, where you see it. the line and you just have to play it. Can't I can't stop to tell you about it. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And he'll get it to within two. Here now at the 440 yard, par four six. Water down the left side to avoid, and a couple choices here. Lay up short of the water crossing the fairway, or risk trying to carry it. See what you've got. Hmm. Risk hasn't really paid off too well for me, and the wind is well against us. I think we'll go... ...a very safe six iron. Long way to the hole now, though. Maybe a four iron would have been better. No need to get overly aggressive with the driver here. This, a long iron, and it does the job well. That's okay. It rolls. 
Oh, I didn't roll anywhere near enough. That's a bit disappointing, actually. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. That's a chance. This one gonna require some pace back up the hill for birdie. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. Perfect. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth. And he'll remain at one under par. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain right where he is. <sighs> here at the par five seventh at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 it's yards. More like it. That's more like it. Except for the wind. That's okay. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Oh, 301 to the hole. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's a good shot right there. You, you don't always need to go driver, right? Getting the ball in the fairway is the key. You don't want to play out of position on a course like this. Very tight here. He's on, look. Very nearly. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. All right, so let's see what we can do. It's going a bit left. Oh, much the same. Wow, gave the full treatment to that three wood and still not home, but still, what a good chance to make birdie here at the par five. Looks good. Stop, break. Oof. Shouldn't be much in this for Birdie. Ah, yes, runs that one right in. It's a Birdie here at the seven. It's about a 60% make percentage from here. This for Birdie. Oh. oh my, that singes the right edge. How did that not go? go Too bad, he's now in that 40% category. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. Damn it. Stay right where he is. That's where I'm losing games. Eighth hole here at the wetlands, par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter. Uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. Green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. Three here, not too bad. What a shot. 
That's right. This is really going to test my skills. It off and the ball is in a wonderful position. I don't feel like um, the game particularly well does slice and fade control, so not proper anyway. I'll have a look. bit long that's not bad I'll take that all right you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time that's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up we welcome in Iona Steven this a putt for birdie well even though this is a longer putt it's very makeable mostly flat overall maybe just a slight break to the right not very much right that's what you want to do good lag putt yeah they can't all go in so now eyeing this one for birdie. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. Gonna overtake me here. And he'll remain careful. right where he is. Frank, looking at this par five ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? I need eagle. Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers, there's a nice section of fairway. And it's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Oh, what terrible shot. Got so lucky there. Look at my thumb angle. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Jew, excuse me. Sorry about that. Yes, got hold of that really well. There's a chance. Uh, there's no chance. These are slow greens and slow fairways. Ready for his third shot. Needs to hit this close. It's quite a lot of backspin, that is. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. Something like that, I think. Yep, where's the backspin? Oh, too much. Too much backspin. Okay. Look here at Birdie. And this really is an ideal spot to take a run at this. I don't see much of anything that's going to influence the golf ball. Oh, yes, very impressive right there. He's now yeah, ahead of me. Down for a birdie. Because it's level. And it is. Oh, that's how you do it right there. The approach misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green. And that is a bit of a surprise birdie. We begin the inward nine at the wetlands with the lengthy par three tenth, 246 yards, three bunkers protecting the front of the green and anything long or left has a chance to be wet. Oh, look at that. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either, sitting up in the short grass.
Is a five iron going to have enough club to reach there? Maybe we'll go four iron short. Oh, wow. Wow. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. I love how we're both playing different shots and getting similar results. There's five feet left. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And he'll stay right where he is. Zero six below. It's a bit of a tricky one, this, isn't it? Okay, that's good putt. It is in to save par. And he'll stay at two under. Arriving here at the 443 yard par for 11th. Best to play it left center off the tee to give you a good look on the approach and take a bit of length off the hole. Really? Oh, I see it. Ooh. A lot of trees here. Great shot. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. You can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. From the fairway, Nota, this is second. 148 yards left to the hole. Pin is in the back right corner of this green. I'm going to aim slightly closer than I want to and try and under hit this. Not perfect. And the ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh, 2.6 below. Oh, that's nasty. All right. So we're out here somewhere. Didn't give it enough. Nah, that might have been a little more break than he was expecting as that one winds up undercutting the hole. 18 feet from the bottom of the cup. He's smiling. He thinks he's got this one, and he has. What a shot. Ah, the pace. Absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11. And he'll remain right where he is. Stepping up to the tee at the first par five on this back nine. It's the 12th, and it is 576 yards. 
Yeah, this hole bends to the right, opposite direction to what 11 does. A good tee shot, and you can actually think about reaching this par 5 and 2, but anything around the front or front left, it's still going to leave a relatively simple pitch shot. So when you stand on that tee, think of birdie at least here. Birdie at least. Okay. Time to step it up then. We had a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Give it a bit of height, aim it down the left, just make sure that my thumb is in the right place. That should be okay. That one up the right side. Ooh. Bit righter than I wanted it. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Right, that could be a problem, couldn't it? What do you think? A three iron? High? Yeah. Me too. Oh, the wind didn't take it. And it wasn't hard enough. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. He's looking good for an eagle there, isn't he? Damn it. That's it, two solid shots right there, Frank. Certainly taking advantage of this par five, and comfortably on for two. it too much I really I really wanted to try and get oh, that he's in got a beautiful canvas to putt from here this for an eagle oh yeah that's how you take advantage I am of a jealous five. I am it's jealous in for an eagle three superb You betcha, what a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Good putt, good putt, good putt. Now to the par 4 13th. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. It's uh, 450. It's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. Okay. That is going right, but I think Maris, yeah, we've got plenty to work with. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Now, note of his second from the fairway. Left himself with 147 to the hole, pin sitting on the right. Good shot. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. This is looking really good. That's a good win. shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie chance. Long putt here. This will require a good touch. Oh. Unlucky. 
Oh, what a cut right there. The speed was spot on, but it was just a fraction offline, and that would have gone in. Zero eight above. It's going to come back in quite far that way. Oh, just nope. too much. That's a real shame. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay at minus three. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll stay right where he is. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short. Um, so you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high flying, soft landing tee shot, once again, is the goal. Like that. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Excuse me. Damn it, he did better than me. Okay, that's gonna end up right in the middle of the green. Here we go, this one for birdie. Right, 0 0.7 below, it's going uphill. Oh. I nearly had it, just gonna wander a foot or so by. Now this for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, oh needed just a bit playing so similar turn. today, it's unreal. That will somehow stay right <clears> on <throat> the edge. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll stay right where he is. I wonder if we finish with the same score the as him, if we'll get him in the next the round 15th. as well. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this par five. Uh, 300 mm. plus yard tee shot, you can definitely get home. Shorter hitters, just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are gonna go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Interesting. So the wind is going, oh my God, this really is interesting. All right, just try not to screw it up. Gonna work this up that left-hand side. That's absolutely fine for me. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That looks good. I like that line. Oh, it just doesn't roll, does it? Nothing Has bloody rolls. That second shot here to the <clears> par <throat> five, Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. This is one thing they have done well. They really have captured the different environments behavior quite well. Oh, where's that going? How on earth did that end up there? Ooh. 
Be pleased with that one. On and two, par five. Didn't fly it there, but didn't have to. Got everything he needed out of that shot. Is it worth the gamble? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, man, absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. So a chance now to bring this par five to its knees, a long eagle putt. Oh, what a putt. Oh, another thunderbolt right there. What a putt. And he can't seem to do anything wrong in this round. God wow. damn it. What a team we are. <laughs> it's a shame they don't have team the events as well. That would be brilliant. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot. Uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So good tee shot. Um, and, well, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at wetlands. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. I think he outdrove me just. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. All right. From the fairway note up, this is second. 153 yards left to the hole. Tough win for a right-hander coming from left to right. I like it. Oh, the wind didn't catch it as much. Okay. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Again, we're so similar. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. But he's played it to the right. That's interesting, because it looked like oh. it was going left to right. Oh, that nearly went in. That's a touch of class right there. Very good effort. Three degrees. Ah! Uh, oh man, the speed was spot on. A good putt, but nothing to show for it. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he'll stay at 5 under. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he'll remain right where he is. All right, we're doing okay, here guys. Here we go to the 17th. It's a par three, and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank. 238 yards. Can't fake it here. You certainly can't, and that green just shapes uh, a little bit to the player's right. So the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw. And uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers, one short left and the other one back right. Okay, a friendly mm. bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. I'll take that. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. An outside look here for Birdie. That one just going to sneak on by. 15 feet away. 
1.4 above. It's like one of those uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill type things. Not enough. Ah. Uh. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Camp is the co-leader. Wow. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. I need to birdie, he needs to bogey, here and at the we'll Wetlands be Golf and on the same Club. score it's together. Par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. If you hit three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the maths. It's only 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Gamble. This may be a touch right. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's gonna have a good look. Second shot. Oh, this one's shot. looking good. Yeah, that's a great shot. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna struggle to get any closer than no, that. I have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Oh, that just rolled on so much more than I expected it to. They haven't been rolling all day and then all of a sudden rolling away like a good one. Disappointing. Chance now for another birdie. Takes the lead. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And that will finish off uh, a round of golf. This is not a gimme. Uh, that's good cut to save par here at 18. And that's going to wrap up our 18 holes of golf. All right. Our featured golfer We're in the here mix, today. Guys. Had We're some in the moments, mix. but maybe not the round one you're looking for, Frank. Too many mistakes, Rich. Uh, right now, don't think about the leader. Just worry about improving your own game. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew, Rich Lerner saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This one's looking a little bit more promising than our previous round one attempts. So join me in the next one, and uh, hopefully I'll do my best to keep myself together so that we can progress into the third round for the first time as a PGA Tour pro. Oof, no pressure. See you next time. Take care. Goodbye for now.